Hello students, a problem is a chance, a problem is a chance for you to do your best. It are during the hard times that best out of you comes out. So please, if at all you face a problem, never feel, never let your spirits dampen. Remain highly motivated and anything in life that you aim at, you undoubtedly will be able to achieve. So a very small theorem. In this class of ours we are going to study and the statement of theorem goes like this. I don't have to write it because this is given in every book. So you just see the statement of theorem is like this that from the right angle vertex of a right angle triangle a perpendicular is drawn onto the hypotenuse. This is right angle, let me say this is A, this is B and this is C. So in triangle ABC which is right angle at A a perpendicular AB is drawn onto the hypotenuse BC of triangle ABC. Then uh, the triangles so formed on either side of the perpendicular. This is perpendicular, this is one triangle we are referring to, this is another triangle we are referring to. So the statement, once again I am reading it out, please do understand. If a perpendicular is drawn from the right angle vertex of a right angle triangle onto the hypotenuse, the triangles so formed on either side of the perpendicular are similar to each other and similar to the whole triangle. Uh, here the right angle vertex is A, from A perpendicular AD is drawn onto the hypotenuse uh, BC of the triangle ABC and one triangle formed is ABB, another one is ABC. We need to prove that ABB is similar to ABC, also ADB is similar to ABC and ADC is also similar to ABC. The trend if, uh, if uh, a perpendicular is drawn from the right angle vertex of a right angle triangle onto the hypotenuse, the triangles so formed on either side of the perpendicular are similar to each other. This one is similar to this and also the similar to the whole triangle. Similar to each other and similar to the whole triangle. So this we will see the best possible, the easiest way of doing this is, uh, we will prove this similar to the whole triangle. Again we will prove this similar to the whole triangle and uh, once these two triangles are similar to the same triangle, that means they are similar to each other. Using that result and the best possible way and the easiest possible way of doing it is, see, if I take triangle A, B, C and uh, triangle, this I want to write. So I know for triangle A, B, C, this is right angle vertex. So for small triangle, when this I am taking, uh, taking the corresponding position, the 90 degree vertex is A, here 90 degree is D, A is occupying first position, so D will occupy first position. Also another thing that I see is in the complete triangle and this smaller triangle angle B is common. That means if angle B, B vertex is at second position, here also B will come at second position and that is A, so I will write here A. So what I want to tell you is triangle ABC and triangle DBA. We have already written in the, uh, the vertices name are already taken in this fashion that they can be written in the similar fashion as similar. So now you write angle A is equal to angle D and you can write each 90 degree. See beyond doubt each one is 90 degree. This is perpendicular drawn. So angle D for DBA is 90 and this angle A is 90 degree that was given to us. Another thing that I told you is angle B is equal to angle B common. So now you can write Triangle ABC is similar to triangle BBA and the criterion is AA, AA similarity. In similar fashion, when you write triangle ABC and triangle, or let me write it this way, triangle ABC is similar to triangle. I will write for ABC, see the angle, uh, this is smaller triangle we are referring to and triangle ABC, so angle C is common. Angle C is common. C is occupying third position, so let me write C at third position. And in this angle, A is right angle, so in this, D is right angle, like this. Now, third vertex left is this. So, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DAC, and the reason I will write here, why? Because, because angle A is equal to angle B, each 90 degree, I can write and angle C is equal to angle C. In that smaller, that is we call BAC triangle and triangle ABC, angle C is common. 
So again, this is a a similarity criterion, and because these two angles are equal, so these two triangles are similar. Now triangle DAC is similar to triangle ABC. Also triangle DDA. Triangle DDA is similar to triangle ABC. That means this triangle is similar to ABC. Also that is similar to ABC. And the triangles which are similar to the same triangle are similar to each other. So from one and two I can write. From one and two I have not numbered but you can understand it. Triangle DAC is similar to triangle. Triangle DAC is similar to triangle DBA. This is the simplest possible way of telling that from right angle vertex of a triangle, if a perpendicular is drawn onto the hypotenuse, the triangles so formed on either side of the perpendicular are similar to each other and the similar two fold triangle. Now, these are the triangles formed on either side of the perpendicular AD. So, they are similar to each other. This is similar to the whole triangle. Also, this is similar to the whole triangle. Sometimes we are required to do directly. See, now uh, first I made this similar to the whole triangle, then this triangle similar to the whole triangle, and then I said because they are similar to the same triangle, so they are similar to each other. Sometimes we are required to do this directly. Okay? Without referring or without making it similar to the ABC, I want this triangle prove, I want to prove this triangle similar to this. So for that what you do is <coughs> just right here. 1, 2 and 3. Need not write here. You can write here 3. And in this triangle, you see, in triangle A, B, D, or let me call it A, triangle A, B, D. This is 90 degree. So 1 plus 2 bound to be 90 degree. Because of the angles and property of a triangle, if this alone is 90, Angle 1 plus together, together are bound to be 90 by angle sum property. So I can write angle 1 plus angle 2, 90 degree. Also, I can write angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 90 degree. Now, this is one say, this is true from 1 and 2. I can write angle 1 plus angle 2, 2, 1 plus 2. And also it is angle 1 plus angle 3, 90 degree. So these two can be striked out and you can say that this angle of smaller triangle ADB is equal to this angle of another smaller triangle that is triangle ADC and each smaller triangle contains 190 degree angle so if I write name of this triangle as triangle AB ADB then I can write is similar to triangle see D is 90 degree vertex for this so D is 90 degree vertex for this so you have two places this is middle corner now angle B of this is equal to angle A of that and angle B is taking third position here so I will write A or third position here this is and the left one is third so I can write triangle ADB is similar to triangle CDA and this is AA similarity and the reason being angle D is equal to angle D each 90 degree each 90 degree also I can say that angle B of this is equal to angle A of that, angle A. This has been proved here. Angle B of this is 2 and angle A of that is 3. So we can say that triangle ADB is similar to triangle CDA. This we have seen a direct way of proving this smaller triangle similar to this smaller triangle. ADB is similar to CDA and you can look here. Uh, 90 degree vertex is D, so it is D taking same position and uh, B of this is equal to A of that and others are automatically followed.